Hello friends, in this video we will be discussing Kantakkar conditions for solving non-linear programming problems. Welcome back friends, let us discuss Kantakkar conditions for solving non-linear programming problems. One of the most important topic from NLPP, surely it will come in the exam. So let's concentrate on board. What are the conditions? First of all, there are two types here. First is two variables and one constraint. Remember very important thing. In case of uh, Lagrange's, the constraint is equality constraint. Here it is inequality constraint. So this is the only difference that will distinguish problem whether it's a conductor or Lagrange's. Here the constraint will be inequality constraint. The first is two variables and one constraint. When I'm saying one constraint by default one inequality constraint and here two variables and one two variables and two inequality constraints. So we're going to see the conditions for both the cases. First condition is do L upon do x1 equal to 0. This is your condition number 1. L you know how to form. What is L? Function minus lambda time constraint. Do L upon do x2. Since there are two variables, therefore I'm going to differentiate L with respect to x1 and L with respect to x2. Third condition, lambda times constraint equal to 0 this is condition number 3 constraint less than equal to 0 this is condition number 4 and x1 x2 greater than equal to 0 lambda greater than 0 for maxima lambda less than 0 it's for minima lambda greater than equal to 0 for maxima lambda less than equal to 0 is for minima. So these are the conditions for two variables and one constraint. This is your condition number five. So these five condition must be satisfied for two variables and one constraint. Here friends x1 and x2 will be greater than equal to zero for both whether the problem is maxima or minima in both the cases x1 and x2 will be greater than equal to 0 but lambda will be greater than equal to 0 for maxima and lambda less than equal to 0 for minima. Here equation number 1, 2 and 3 will be used for, remember the point, will be used for calculation and 4 and 5 for checking. So remember this point, this point is very important. Uh, what this point exactly mean that we're going to discuss while solving the problem. Now let us discuss the condition for a two variables and two constraint. So first condition is same. Why? Because there are a two variables. See, variables are a two. So once I'm going to differentiate with respect to x1, then I'm going to differentiate with respect to x2. So what is the difference? L formation is a different that we're going to discuss later on. Third condition see here, lambda times constraint equal to zero. But uh, friends, here there is only one constraint. Therefore, lambda times that constraint equal to zero. And here if you check, there are uh, two constraints. So lambda times first constraint is equal to zero. And lambda times second constraint is equal to zero. Next, uh, constraint less than equal to zero. Here there are two constraints. Therefore, H1 less than equal to 0, H2 less than equal to 0. See here, it's only H less than, zero, less than equal to 0, but here there are two constraints. Therefore, H1 and H2 less than equal to 0. Next, X1, X2 greater than equal to 0. And here lambda greater than equal to 0 for maxima since here there is only one constraint h therefore there is only one lambda here we have two constraint therefore let us name it down as lambda 1 and lambda 2 
lambda 1 lambda 2 if both greater than equal to 0 then it will be maxima and if lambda 1 and lambda 2 less than equal to 0 then it will be minima what exactly this mean that we're going to discuss while solving the problems so these are the conditions for two variables one constraint two variables and two constraint copy the conditions and in the next videos we'll discuss how to use it thank you